All right, we're going to solve this limit problem. Uh, it's a two-sided limit. X is going to approach 3 and from both sides, from the left and the right. And um, if we plug 3 in for X in the denominator, we get 0. If we plug 3 in the numerator, we also get 0. So uh, we can't put 0 over 0 down as an answer, of course. We have to actually figure out uh, what's going on. Well, if we're getting 0 in the numerator and denominator, that means there's a hole in the graph at 3. So we need to somehow simplify this expression. And if 3 makes the numerator and denominator 0, there's a reason for that. The reason is, is that one of the factors of the top expression has to be x minus 3. If I'm getting 0 in the numerator, there has to be a factor of x minus 3 in that numerator. If I'm getting 0 in the denominator, then there also has to be a factor of x minus 3. That's the factor that's causing the numerator and denominator to come out to 0 over 0. Now the bottom's not hard to factor because x squared minus 9 can be factored into x minus 3, x plus 3. But the top, the numerator, is, is a little more difficult to factor. So if you know uh, the formula for factoring a difference of cubes, right, this is x cubed minus 27 cubed, you could use that. A lot of people don't know that, okay? So what we're going to do, to find this mystic factor is going to divide. And to, exam to explain why that works, let me show you something like this. Let's look at something like um, 12. If I know that 12 is equal to 3 times something, I know that 3 is a factor of 12, but I don't know what the other factor is. I could take 12 divided by 3, which gives me 4. That tells me 4 is the missing factor. So I'm just trying to show you that um, if you know one factor, you can take your product, divide it by one of your factors, it'll give you the other factor. So in this case, I'm going to take x cubed minus 27 divided by x minus 3. That will give us this other factor. So I'm going to take x cubed minus 27 divided by x minus 3. Now there is a way to do this with long division. We could work it out with long division. Um, we'd have to write this as minus 0x squared minus, or we could use minus or plus, plus 0x to the first, and then minus 27. And I'll show that real quickly, although I'm not sure that you're going to want to use that method. Um, x goes into x cubed x squared times, so I multiply, I get x to the third minus 3x squared. Then I'm going to subtract, but instead of subtracting, I normally would add the opposite, which would give me 3x squared here. Bring down the 0x. Next, um, 3x squared divided by x would be 3x. Multiply 3x times x is 3x squared minus 9x. I subtract. Instead of subtracting, I'm going to add the opposite, which gives me 9x. Bring down the minus 27. 9x divided by x would be plus 9. 9 times x is 9x. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27 we get a remainder of 0. Just like here when we took um, 12 divided by 3, we got 4 with a remainder of 0. A remainder of 0 tells me that both of these numbers are factors of 12. Same thing here. The remainder of 0 tells me that x minus 3 times this answer equals x cubed minus 27. Now you really don't have to use long division though if you know synthetic division in this instance anyway. Um, if you know synthetic division, which may be more, more uh, it, it might be something to use a little bit more, in your pre-calculus class. A synthetic division, if you want to divide by x minus 3, you put a positive 3 here. And you take the coefficients of what you're dividing. So 1x cubed, 0x squared, 0x minus 27. You bring down the 1. 3 times 1 is 3. You add those quantities. 3 times 3 is 9. You add those. 3 times 9 is 27. You add remainder of 0. So this gives me an answer of 1x squared plus 3x plus 9. The exact same thing I got using long division. So you can use either method, doesn't matter. Um, if synthetic division is probably quicker and easier if you remember how to do it. So anyway, the missing factor is x squared plus 3x plus 9. Once I get that factored out, I can cancel the x minus 3s. Now I can plug the 3 in for x, 
So I get 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus 9 over 3 plus 3. This comes up to 9 plus 9 plus 9, which is 27. 3 plus 3 is 6. Divide both by 3, 9 halves, or 4 and a half, would be the limit. Now, of course, if you were allowed to use a graphing calculator, you could also uh, graph this quantity and then type in numbers very close to 3. And as x gets closer and closer to 3, you would notice that the y-coordinate would get closer and closer to 4.5.